Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie with Designs. Today we are going to be making some ephemera for the Romantic Journal. And I have all these little tiny bits and pieces on my desk here. You can't see them. I've tried to drop my camera down um, to be able to see all the little things I'm working with. Um, what this is going to be, let me just raise it up a little bit here. Um, this is going to be a pullout. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to show you here. I've taken a piece of Tim Holtz paper and I um, creased it on one side. And it's going to be a um, pullout like this. So I'm going to have my little tab. That will be down, and then you'll be able to. I'll be able to pull it out like this. Okay. Um, this is kind of it's new to me to do something like this, so I really have to think about what I'm doing, and I just kind of have to go slow um, because I don't want to get everything on here and then have it not be correct. So I'd love to have you stick around and see what I'm going to be building here. So the first thing that I did was I opened it up so I could work on both pieces, you know, the, the long way so I can actually see what I'm doing. But what I have to do is I need to distress this a little bit so I know where that center line is. Because when I open it up, I kind of get it kind of gets lost so I'm just going to do this here so now I can really see what I'm doing let's raise this up just a little bit so I'm not so in your face so I also which I didn't pull the other day um, these I found these are really cool vintage Denison um, labels these I found at my parents' house, along with a bunch of other Denison labels my dad had when he had his home office. Um, so I pulled, I pulled these, and I'm going to be using a few of these as well. So I did pull my littles. I love calling them littles. Um, ahead of time, because I really had to think about this. I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. I knew what I wanted to use. And this here I showed you in the past video. This is a really cool piece of shipping paper that um, Mad Fox had sent with their ephemera. So I've taken little bits and pieces of this, ripped and torn, and I've just made little tiny stitches um, on my machine with this. Um, this here, these little pieces here are leftover um pieces that got glued down that shouldn't have been um, these are all little leftover pieces here from where I ripped and tore um, some of my papers and I always say leave you know keep the tops don't don't discard the tops when you rip and tear because little the little pieces like this come in really handy you know these pieces here that you tear off the top of your paper either to make it um, shorter or wider. I should say narrower. You can't make a piece of paper wider by tearing it, can you? So this I knew I wanted to make a little pocket here. And this is just some scrap pieces of wallpaper that I wanted to um, put on here to kind of break up the background. Um, so I'm just going to make some little collages here. That I think will. And then this I wanted to have overlap here. So that can kind of overlap that, that card, which will make a nice journaling card. We'll back, we'll back that so you can 
you can do some writing on that. I have this sweet little girl here image. She's going to go under here and then um, I think I was going to put that down there like that. But I still have to get a little something for over here. I did pull, I have a, a whole box here of um, little die cuts that I've, I really enjoy using. And I've pulled some for um, this project here. And maybe we can put, we can find something in here to run along the side. And I kind of want to keep the muted colors. First thing I'm going to do is let me get this down and then we can figure out what might look the best. I've got this. I have these little feathers, this little copper feather. That's kind of might be a little too big. All right, well, let's get it glued down, like I said, and we can then go from there. All right, let's, let's just do that. Oh, whoops. So my sweater, <laughs> Caught all of these and here they go all over on the floor and such. Oh gosh. All right. The day's going to get better. All right. So remember when you're collaging, you kind of have to remember your order that you want to um, glue everything down. you don't want to, if you're going to overlap, um, you don't want to glue something down later that should have been glued down in the beginning. And I just want to make sure that this will definitely overlap that. And this is the um, wallpaper. So I'm going to be using my three and one here. Let's get this right down. And sometimes when I have a little bulkier piece, um, like I made a, a cut here, I didn't want to, because I have another one going across here, but I didn't want um, to wrap that around because sometimes it just doesn't fold properly or the it gets bulky and uh, it doesn't lay lay down properly and this is where see I have to remember here because our little girl is going to go underneath here so this is what I'm talking about when I say just remember your layering there we go 
Now we can put that down. Okay. And then we have our card that goes in there quite nicely. And then we have our little denison here that I want to put right down over here. And I'm going to come back to this because I do want to um, I want to put a little word in there or a saying. Um, I just don't know what yet. And that's the other thing. When you're creating your pages and your journals and such, um, you don't have to do everything right then and there. You know, if you have an idea, let it let it sit, let it rest, think about it, come back to it, and you can finish off your your page. It doesn't have to be done immediately. Sometimes it is best to, um, you know, think about what you want to do and come back to it. I like all of these muted colors together. I just think it's it's really pretty. Okay, so let's take a look here in here again to see if there's a little a little something. Maybe we could put even a butterfly there. I do have these two butterflies I pulled um, for the pull, the tab. They're Oh, there's that sun. I probably got some shadows all over here. Hold on a second. There we go. Sorry about that. I hate to close the sun out, but it doesn't help. Um, so I have two here that are very, that are similar, and I'm going to back them on paper, and that's going to be my pull out right there. So I have those two butterflies. Um, but let's take a look here really quick. And if I find something in here, I do. If I don't, I don't. Oh, I like that with the stripes. And I don't even think we need, we would need to use that just yet. That might be kind of fun there. I do like that. I like that there, like that. Bring that down a little. Right down about like that. And I think we're going to go with that. And I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. But you know what? I think I'm going to use a um, green. Or maybe even a blue. Um, just to give it a little offset. So I have the weathered wood. I have chipped sapphire. Mm, aged mahogany. Maybe you could put some red in there. Um Let's take a look here. I've got my little dauber. Um, let's, let's try the weathered, weathered wood. This is kind of a light. We can try it down here. Yeah, that's kind of a, a bluishy. So that might be kind of pretty. just instead of doing the normal brown. We could add a nice little blue tint to it because we have the blue over here. Yeah, I like that. I think that's nice. 
All right, so let's put that there. So we're going to keep these out because those might be kind of fun to use. I'm just going to add a little bit of blue to that. All right, so we're going to put that there. Nothing new really to report. I'm, this is going to be kind of a quiet video. Um, which I guess is good. Well, they say no news is good news. No news is good news. Okay. There. And I'm going to put that right on there like that. I do like that there. a little bit up here. So we're going to put that right there like that. Okay. So there is the first, there's the first page and we can back this. I'll back this in a little bit. I'm not going to bother to back that now. That tucks right in there. Okay. So then we open it up. And then we'll have this side here. And let's see. So I have some more. I have some more of this that I, I ripped. I really like this. So we have that there. So this is a nice way um, when you have a fold out to open it. And then that way you can kind of coordinate and everything will flow nicely. And then we're going to continue with the wallpaper scrap up at the top here. This I may have to clip just a little bit down um, just so it doesn't interfere too much with where that where that folds right there. I'm going to clip it even a little bit more. Actually maybe I'm just going to I'm going to tear up to kind of keep it consistent. Yeah, and then that'll be good right there like that. And then it won't get in that folded area. Okay. So we have this. And then I have this here. This here I'm going to, again, this will go up on the top. Um, as a little accent piece. So let's get that done now. All right, and we're going to use this again. And see that just adds a nice little nice little border to that. So we have that there. Gosh, 
gosh, my sweater is just really picking everything off of my table today. And then we're going to be putting this up at the top here. This area I want to leave as a writing space um, for notes or whatever. I pulled this. I don't know where I wanted to put that. I think I wanted to put this down there, possibly. Or did I just want to put, I think I just wanted to layer it on this here. Every time I do something, um, it always comes out a little bit different. <laughs> and I know I wanted to put this. I wanted to put that over there with her. Or did I want to put this here? I can do that with her there. And then this can come over here like that. And that can go over there like that. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I like this here with a little girl better than over on the other side. And this one here, I'm going to use my aged mahogany on this. And I'm just going to... Just get the tips of these a little bit. Just a little red hint and hue. We're getting ready for a deep freeze here this weekend. Well, I'm, let me just say deep freeze because by the time you see this, it's going to come and go. But this morning I took my, I took little Daisy out and Bella. They, they are so bored. They need to run and play. And, um, oh, it's just been kind of cold and miserable. Um, so I took them out and it was so cold that I really didn't have the energy, but I had to carry Daisy up. We went way down and back, and her little feet got so cold she couldn't walk. Um, so I got my workout by carrying my 50-pound dog back up to the house. All right, so let's get this. And then I've been at my craft desk the rest of the day. All right, I'm going to get this down first.
So there's the side here. Okay, we got this down. All right. And we got to get this down here. And I'm going to get this, put it on this part here first. I think that'll work out better. course we need to I use my glue I gotta get this <laughs> down in here because remember my layering and as you know this art glitter glue really sticks quickly. Okay. And we're going to get all of this. I think we go. Okay. Isn't she cute? And we're going to put that, we're going to put her right about there. So I had a conversation with my son today when he came home from lunch. And I see some of these crafters, they say vlog, you know, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I, I, and to me, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm all new at this. But to me, um, it's to me, it's just a simple crafting video. I not a, I shouldn't say simple there because they're showing, you know, paints and stuff like this, inks. But I said to my son, what what is the difference between a a vlog? I mean, what is a vlog? So he told me it's like a blog, but it's it's a video blog. So I'm like, okay, well, usually a blog, because I used to have a, I, I did blog posts. I said a blog was a story. It was, um, you know, something, I used to blog a lot about my boys being in homeschool. And I used to blog about hiking and, um, you know, things like that. And he says, Mom, a video blog. He goes, show me what you're looking at. So I showed him. He says, Mom, that is not a vlog. He says, that is just a video, a crafting video. I'm like, okay. So I said, how would it be different? He goes, let me show you what a vlog is. So he showed me, and um, it's where you're either traveling. It's it's like a movie. It's a doc, like a documentary. Um, so I was just trying to, you know, I said, so you tell me if I was like, if I were to do a vlog, say of, I could go down to our town, to, we have a really nice art shop called Savoir Fair. Um, so I said, I could go like into Savoir Fair and ask them if I could video their, um, shop and like show 
show their art supplies and everything they offer? He says, yes. He goes, and then you explain what they have in the store and what you could use and what you would like to buy and, you know, maybe what you have purchased there and, you know, this and that. And I said, oh, I got it. He said, or mom, if you were going to go hiking and you wanted to compare two different high peaks, you would, it's just a, a video. It's a, a video blog where you're, you know, you hike one mountain and you're going up and you're talking about the terrain and, you know, then you go up the next mountain and you talk about what the difference is. And he says, that's a vlog. I'm like, okay. So he showed me some really cool people that have vlogs. Um, so I could never quite understand when I saw these crafting vlogs. So he kind of set me straight on that and told me what's what and what's not. So, Carol, if you're watching this video, I want you to do a vlog of your four-week trip with your hubby and show us all the fun places that the two of you go. So that's a... There's an assignment for you. All right, so now we have a nice little writing space in this section here. So as you can see, you don't really need a lot. Um, you know, as long as you have a few items, that show some interest and that you like. It's fairly simple to, okay, all right, so we have this here and then that will open up like that. And you'll have a nice little writing space, okay. And then this side here, we're going to do this side here. I haven't done anything with this side yet. Um, I know I want to do an envelope here. I think this, this cute little envelope is really sweet. Um, and I don't want to forget to use my bread. So on this one right here, um, this is a funky piece of ripped and torn wallpaper. I don't even know... I must have ripped something out of here to use somewhere, but I thought that would make a really cool frame right here. And then I have this bird, which I think is fun. Um, and then I found this little saying here, uh, bright as the birds of Indian bowers, whose crimson plumage went with green. Their emerald leaves and vermeil flowers resemble willow herbs are seen to nod from banks from whence depend rich. Is that symes of fragrant meadow sweet? Alas, those creamy clusters lend a charm where death and odor, odor, odor meet. I just thought that was kind of funky. And then I have this um, old... Kodak uh, negative and I want to put this right in here behind that which I think gives it a little era of mystery and I just think it looks really cool um, I may stitch now that I see it, I may do a wonky stitch around there just to add a little bit and then we have this up here. I want to add that too with the bird. 
So let me stitch around this and I think I think that will be I think that'll add a little bit more to that unfinished portion there. Okay, so here it is stitched. And I think it just needs something else on top of here. So I remembered that I have these little corner, the old-fashioned vintage style corner frames for photos. So I'm going to adhere them onto here, and I think they'll look really cool. And I'm not going to bother to square it up. I want it just the way it is here. Um, so I'm going to add a, just a dab of glue right there. And then I can always add, I can always add a little bit more if I need to. But we'll get some in that corner of each one. I think that'll look cool. These corner squares, I believe you can still, you can buy these in stores or online. Yeah, I think that's going to look cool. So that will go on there like that, which I just think really gives it a really fun, old, funky, funky appearance. This I want to put up here at the top. And I don't want to get too, over too close to that there. So we're going to put this up on top here. It's a beautiful day here. The sun is out and oh, but it's just too cold to be outside. It's frigid. Okay, so we have that, and we have that there. Oh, this glue, I may have to go wash my hands next break because this glue is just redunculous. And I thought we put the bird right there. And then I have this. And I already forgot to do something that I wanted to do before I put that on there. Um, maybe I'll have to do it down here. What I wanted to do, and I didn't do, gosh dang it, was I wanted to take one of these Denison labels. See, I'm just not thinking. And I wanted to attach it up here. Maybe I'll do it over here with this and I can put a saying up here I wanted to add a eyelet mm -hmm. I wanted to add an eyelet to that up here and I thought that would be kind of funky but new. No. See, I'm not thinking. Okay. 
could add an eyelet right there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but first of all, I have to, I'm going to need to glue this down. Let's see if I can get this glued down somewhat, just to hold that in place. So we'll give that a minute to dry. And shall I do, what are we going to do? We're going to do black, maybe a black. Maybe a black eyelet would be good for here because we have the gold on the photo here. Um, so this I'm going to want to add a little dab of glue as well because I don't want this to slip and slide around. So we'll let that set a minute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're going to put this eyelet right through here. And this is where I get nervous. It's like singing in front of people. It's like singing in front of people. That's going to go there. That is going to pop in there. And this is going to go right in through here. There. Perfect. <laughs> something went, something finally went well there. I like that. I like the way that looks. All right, so now what I'm going to do is get this glue off my negative. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so I'm going to get this glued down. And then I'm going to have to let that set. Because I want to make sure. And remember, if you're working with negatives or whatever, do not glue, do not put your glue over your negative. You know, sometimes you think, oh, I got to get glue everywhere so I make sure it stays down really well. Well, don't put it over your picture or negative. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Then I can kind of line it up and make it straight with this line here. All right, so I'm going to let this set for a little bit, and then we'll be back. Um, let me get the bird on here. I think we're going to put our bird right about there. And then we can finish up. We'll do the other, the other side here with the envelope. And then we'll call it a video. And some more fun ephemera for the inside of the journal. We're going to put that right about like that. All right. All right, so I'm going to let this set and rest, and then we will be back to finish up this side here. All right, well, I think I got it all going on here for the back cover. Um, took me a little bit, but I just, I don't want to rush this. Um, so, my idea behind 
the it all stems around this envelope if you can believe that i want to attach the envelope like this so we can open it up and i have a little um i made a little writing paper to go in there this is uh louise heintzel's part of her um paper here and i made a little trifold and that's going to tuck right inside this envelope here for journaling on so what i want to do is um and of course i <laughs> okay this here so <coughs> excuse me i need to close this and i wanted to use the butterfly here to open and close this so let's get the front of this I have this little tiny leftover scrap um, of wallpaper and I want to use that on here no scrap gets left behind so and if I can use these cute little scraps I'm going to Okay, so we're going to put this up here in the corner like this. Okay. And then um, I want to have her I might want to have her like this okay so this is another good reason to use um, your beacon three in one because you can lift it and play around so we're going to put this little gal at the writing table right here And then we're going to put this little bit down here, left over from a little rip and tear. And all these little pieces just add just add to it a little bit, a little bit of dimension. So we're going to put that there and I'm, not, I'm just going to take this little tiny bit of white off. I don't want that white showing there. I don't like the way that. That looks there. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to put this um where's my little here we go i want to put this little eyelet right up here in the corner right about there Okay. All right. There. I think that looks cute. So that's going to be our little, that'll be your little writing space. That's going to tuck right inside this envelope here, which will adhere onto here. But we need to keep this down a little bit. So my thought process on this, um, and I don't want to do a lot to this envelope. I thought maybe stamping on it we could just stamp some words on here um, so let me go get my ink pad and my stamp all right so I pulled a larger stamp here and I have my VersaFine and I think I'm just going to ink this all up because I'm not quite sure 
where this is a really cool stamp. Um, I'm not quite sure where I want to. So here it is all inked up, which is really cool. And I'm going to take just a little tiny bit, just a dab. just to hold that down and then I can take that off all right so I'm thinking somewhere let's try this let's see yeah that's good that's good we don't have to do the back and I'm not too con I don't need to do the inside. All right. So we're going to set that aside. And this is all done here. So this can go inside now. And then this will go over here on this like that. And then I want to, I'm going to have to add a little something here because what I'm thinking here is if I add the butterfly, then this wing can tuck right down underneath, and that will help hold it shut. I just don't know if I want that's kind of bright. So I'm thinking of just taking this stripe here. And let me get my ripper. Let me get my Jack the Ripper here. And... Let's get this ripped. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to... I think I will ink a little bit because this is so stressed. And we're just going to... Rip this at the bottom. I'll rip a little bit more off the top here. Oh, I'm going to be ready for a nap after this. All right. And we're going to get this glued on. Hopefully my plan will work here and I just want to catch that wing I just want to catch that wing so it will We're going to let that dry, okay? And then, see, that wing will catch right down in there, and then we'll adhere that. So what I'm going to do is, this is a sticker, um, and I'm just going to glue the whole thing on. Actually, I'm going to take half of it off and glue the one side on, and then leave the other can get this here. If anybody has a trick on getting these gosh darn stickers apart, I would really appreciate it. So we are going to snip half of this off. And I'm going to kind of work backwards like this. And then we're going to have to glue, glue this section on here because we have to. So we're going to get that glued on there. And if I can get this, you can see this kind of curled up a little bit here. 
There we go. All right, so we're going to let that set. And I just want to make sure, yep, that's not glued on there. And then see, that will just latch right in there. All right, so let's let that sit and rest there. Um, I found this gal here. I really like her. And I think she'll be perfect um, in this little... section here. I want to put her here. Um, let me get some of this white off of her and then we'll ink her up. I hope you're still with me. I have no idea how long huh, this video is. But I wanted to get this whole thing. I wanted to get this whole thing done so you could see. There. And she's going to fit just lovely inside there. That worked out really well. Um. And she's going to fit right in there. There. And then we're going to put her. This is where our envelope is going to go. I want to bring this down because this is going to be a tuck spot. We're going to put her right here. And that's pretty much all we're going to do um, on this page here on this fold out because I really don't think we need to do anything more. And then we have this tag here and I want to attach this and then have the little um, just a little tuck spot and put that tag right inside there. So again um, I'm going to put a little band up on top here. And we'll put that right, right up on top. Wouldn't that be something if I got this all done and I did it upside down or backwards and it didn't go on the it didn't go on the page like I wanted it to? Ay yi 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 yi. All right, we're almost done. We're almost there. Stay with me. All right. So now we're going to I could put her right dead center in the tag. Um Just going to add a little bit of this on each end here. Because there's a whole lot of floral going on here. And I think it needs just a little little something here on the bottom. So even if you do not have, you know, little um, squares and such, um, boy, 
um, to add, you can just add your extra papers like I'm doing here. You don't need tickets, tags, or anything else. You can just add your little papers that are just a little different. You know, that kind of, I'm not going to say clash. Class, clash isn't the right word. Um, but make something else stand out and pop. And we're going to put her right there. And then we're going to grab a little... Grab a little ribbon and we'll put a little brad in here. Let's do, it's not a brad, it's an eyelet. Let's add a little eyelet. Okay. And we'll add a little ribbon. And we have our little, we have our little tag here. We're just going to add this now to the side, and um, I'm going to take this out because I'm going to want to um, clip this down, I think, so it holds really well. And I'll just let this set. I'm not going to put it in the book today because I want this all to set up and glue quite nicely, okay? We'll come back when we do our next project and we will. this will either be in the book or we will put it in the book. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit. This I'm not going to put in, and this I'm going to keep out, but this is where our little tuck is going to go for the tag there. All right, so it is done. It is done. So let's take a look real quick. So this is going to be our tab that will attach to the page itself. And I'm going to add another little tab here. Um, remember I said I was going to add the butterflies, but I'm not going to. I'm going to add another little tab um, to this. And then, so it's going to be adhered to the page. And then it will open up like this. And then you have a nice little writing space here. You have a little um, card to journal on. We'll take care of that. And then when it's in the book, you can open it like this, and then you'll have your little envelope, and um, you'll have your tag here for a little writing area, and then you're going to have your little writing, your little hidden writing paper here. So that is it, my friends. Thank you for your patience um, in getting through all of this. I think it's really, really cute. Um, I hope you like it. I know it's a little more meticulous and a little more um, detailed. It's really not that hard. It's just putting all your littles together and making sure that everything coordinates. Um, so if you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments. And like I said, we'll get this in the book down the road. And I'll see you when I see you. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.